Look at this. You get Southeast Asia vibes. Feels like I'm on the sets of Predator movie. Welcome to the third part of this three part series vlog of Sindhu Durga and today I am in Malwan. Malwan has become famous uh, among travellers in past few years and is, it is attracting more and more tourists every year. It is famous for its beaches, seafood and uh, dry fruits and the most iconic building behind me is Sindhu Durga Fort. This district is named after this fort, the Sindhu Durga. And I'll be going there later. Now we are going scuba diving. <laughs> I'm very afraid of scuba diving and afraid of sea creatures. Let's see what happens now. I have with me my brother Siddesh Siddhi Vinayak Tali. Hello. And uh, he will be joining me for scuba diving. Well, he knows swimming well. I don't know anything about swimming. I'm quite afraid. But they have told that. Uh, uh, they'll give me some guidance and I don't need to know swimming for that. We are just back from scuba diving and uh, it was amazing, it was a fabulous experience. I wish the water was a little clear. Uh, I freaked out a lot in the beginning but later it was, I realized I, it was all about taking long breaths to mouth. We are done with scuba diving and now we are heading to Sindhudurga Fort. Look at this fort. Right now they have created this for the tourists. 
The main entrance is concealed in such a way that no one can pinpoint it from the outside. This fort was built by Shivaji Maharaj in 1660s to counter the rising influence of European colonizers. These massive walls are 12 feet thick and 30 feet high, protecting this fort. The selfie crazies. There is a temple made inside the fort in the name of Shivaji Maharaj. There are secret tunnels made for emergency exit and they exit on the mainland in some villages. Even though this fort is surrounded by sea, it has three freshwater wells in it. This is one of the freshwater wells inside this island. Next to it is the second well. After the decline of Maratha Empire, many residents abandoned this fort because there were no job opportunities. But still, there are around 16 houses still living here. Uh, and the recently established uh, scuba diving industry uh, brought some employment for them. by Fort uh, Siddesh have brought me to stay at his house tonight and uh, he is into an interesting business I will show that uh, tomorrow morning right now see this this is a house of artists uh, and look at this design this painting is done by Amit Amit <laughs> He's Amit. <laughs> this one is also done by Amit. Artist Amit. Sorry, artist Amit. Good morning. You must know about the Ganesh festival in India where people bring home a statue, an idol of uh, Lord Ganesh and worship it for 10 days and on the 10th day they, they immerse it in ocean or river. Well that's how Ganesh festival is but many of the statues are made of plaster so the immersion makes the water polluted. Some people make these idols out of clay but last year Siddesh started something revolutionary he started making these idols out of recycled paper the <laughs> Normal sukhana sati. The sukhana antar mo kya tun jee murti baayar di. Ek asha prakar jee asse. Ek asha prakar jee murti asse jee tun saach tun baayar di thi. Yaat mo jee purna pokar asse. Kuvazna dam halki plaster bhexa hi halki hai to plaster bhexa hi mazbu de thi. Chumne ami hai ko friendly ganpo di moon ek sangla option thole la lokan samar plaster like sangla option thole la hai. Bhuva ta hi chhe shuruat ke liye the response ka samne to public ko the depend hai. एक गणपति की मूर्ति है ऐसा मैं एक मॉडल मुझे पहला एक मॉडल बनाओ लगता है अपने लिए जहाँ प्रकार से प्रोडक्शन कार्य तो सेल्टर त्याग से एक मॉडल बनाओ लगता 
तसं मी मॉडेल बनवतो आहे सध्या मग हे झाल्यानंतर त्याचा मी साचा मारणार पूर्ण फिनिशिंग झाल्यानंतर त्याला दागिने वगैरे बनवण्याचा साचा बनवणार मग तो साचा पूर्ण सुकल्यानंतर त्यात लगदा वगैरे टाकून त्यातून आम्ही प्रोडक्शन करणार मग त्यात प्लॅस्टर साच्यामधून तुम्ही पेपरचे पण गणपती काढू शकता किंवा मातीचे पण काढू शकतो आपण इज इन दॅट अमेझिंग आय एम पुटिंग लिंक टू हिज फेसबुक पेज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन डू चेक दॅट आउट Now let's go explore some beach. Well, yesterday I was in Malwa. But this part comes under Vengurla and Vengurla is famous for its beaches. There are many beaches here which tourists doesn't know about. Only locals know about such beaches, so I brought few of them. This is Kone Beach. There's a lot more to explore about Sindhu. Beautiful scenery, beautiful people, their culture, festivals, food, and not just Sindhu, all of Konka. Well, here comes the saddest part of my trip, which is going back home. Anyway, tell me how you felt about this video in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.